Monaco. Well, I've been racing there since uh, 2005, and it was always just cool, first of all, to get on that track, whether I was in Formula, Formula 3 or Formula 1. But to race in Formula 3 was a great experience. I won in Formula 3 there, and I just remember driving through the tunnel for the first time in a Formula 3 car was very special. But to get there in Formula 1 and realise I'd made it... Um, and to hear the noise, the sound of the car through the tunnel is different to anywhere else around any other circuit. But um, just to know the history when I was watching Formula One when I was growing up, watching Senna drive through the tunnel, and thinking one day I wish I could do that, to the to the point where I'm actually driving through there, leading the Grand Prix, battling with Fernando in 2007, uh, finished on the podium for two years in a row it was is a very is very special for me. But in my second year to finally get my win was. Uh, was such a great achievement and like like you said it is my favorite grand prix so i want to win there every year every driver wants to win there every year so i'm gonna do everything i can to win that race monaco is the tightest circuit on the calendar it's it's just so narrow there's barriers everywhere and it's very very difficult to overtake if it's raining then like it was in 2008 then there is more opportunity for overtaking but still you can barely see from the guy in front, the spray in front, so um, I do believe you can overtake, but uh, I think with the new regulations as well, we'll make it even easier to overtake, but it will still be very tough. But the key is to get on pole position and disappear into the distance, so that's my plan. When you first get on the track till the time you leave, you just cannot believe the speed that you can carry on that circuit. When you're doing 200, you're doing 100, 80 miles an hour, 190 miles an hour at the top of the hill. You you know you're clipping one, almost clipping one barrier to the next barrier to the next barrier. Then you come into a corner where there's uh, you can't see the exit. You don't know if there's a crash around the corner, and you just got to have such blind faith um, in your abilities, and everything's going to be all right when you come out the other side. But um, your adrenaline, your adrenaline is pumping more than ever, uh, more than any other race circuit you're at, because each time you come through a corner, you're like. Oh, barrier, barrier. You don't know which one you're gonna. You know you have to brush them to be the quickest. So, but you have to again just have such confidence uh, in the reliability of your car uh, that you're not gonna get a puncture or brake failure or any of these things. And so, it's just the most unbelievable roller coaster that you could never, you could never simulate it. You know. So, I I thoroughly enjoy it.